What's up, what's up, Builders Club TV family? Welcome to another episode of A Day in the Life. It's your favorite home business content creator, Dewan Jones, your professional stay-at-home dad. And I'm excited to have you on the show and uh, excited to have you tuning in to the show. And we got somebody that's phenomenal this time around, this episode family. And just so you get a clear picture of who we're speaking with right now, Whitney Cagle Johns is an absolute beast in the industry. Uh, I mean, let me tell you this family, when it comes to uh, the topic we're speaking about today, which is how to find prospects, this is probably one of the most qualified people to speak and learn from. I mean, she's actually sponsored 150 people in her first eight weeks in her company, which is just, I mean, that's crazy, right? Uh, she's hit the top levels in her company. And because of this amazing industry, uh, we know as home business, network marketing, her and her husband have been able to go out and you know actually build their dream home. And so this is just amazing stuff. And we wanna bring you the value. So we wanna go and get the best of the best. We know there's a lot of information out there uh, that you can dig into, but we wanna make sure that we bring you the best concrete information so that you can go out there and crush it in your business. We're talking to Whitney Cagle Johns to tonight family let me get her on screen so we can talk with her a little bit and um see what she's got going on in her neck of the woods how you how you doing Whitney what's going on hi I'm good how's everyone out there man the family's doing fantastic I got the whole Builders Club TV family with me we're excited to talk to you uh and have you on uh this episode of a day in the life where we uh where lifestyle meets personal development and uh, we're excited about the topic that we're going to get into but you know I mentioned to the family that you and your husband because of this uh, amazing industry we know as network marketing you, were, you and your husband were able to actually build your dream home. Yes, actually I'm sitting in my living room right now. My favorite little picture is behind me. Um, yes, so we, um, our first year in the industry, we made a little over a million dollars. It's been a huge blessing. And so, wow. um, you know, it allowed us to sell our home, build our home, build our dream home and put a lot of money down. And so it has been, you know, something Jason was a coach and I was a school counselor. So we lived paycheck to paycheck. And so wow. it really allowed us to do something and dream bigger for our lives than we would have ever been able to a dream, um, you know, just working our jobs, not a five. That's amazing. And you know what? I remember, uh, you know, this isn't your first time on the Builders Club TV. And uh, we want to thank you for coming back to uh, to be with us during this episode. But the, I remember uh, specifically the first time in your interview that we had on the on the uh, channel. Um, you know, I love your decor, the decor that, you know, in fact, my wife said the same thing. They said, you know, their style yeah. is similar to ours. You know, we would totally design our home exactly the way that they did. I love the way you guys did your color and your coordination and some of the uh, furniture pieces that you that you chose. So uh, can we do like a little tour for the family so they can see yeah, absolutely. what this is kind of this is the living room i've got some chairs i can I don't know if you can kind of see that's um i'm just going to kind of show you it may not be perfect but this is our living room kitchen one of my favorite things is as you can see these doors right here um wow that's a nice view is, and my dog is out there look at her she is wanting in but look <laughs> we have a lake um back there behind us wow. look at her she is wanting in and we have these doors i'll show you um you can open them and they just like open out to the to the outdoor area. So this is like one of my favorite, I'll kind of show you this. This is one of my favorite views because it is just so peaceful out here. Sometimes I'll come out here and have coffee and just read and do my morning, you know, meditation stuff. But we have a little lake out here. Sorry, my dog's jumping. <laughs> but um, we just have a really pretty, really pretty view. And I love these doors because they open up. You can see them right here. They open up. How much time do you and your family day. spend out there? Well, my daughter is like the trampoline. I mean, she loves the trampoline. So sorry, it's kind of dark now. Um, so she's out there all the time. But we spend a lot of time. We have a, you know, I don't know if you saw the fireplace and TV. And we spend a lot of time out there just relaxing and watching, especially during football season, watching football. And my husband's a football coach. So we, have a lot, no, we, we no. love that area. Who spends the most time in the kitchen? Well, I'll be honest, I'm not much of a cook, <laughs> but I will show you our kitchen because I do, I do love it. Um, we run like crazy in the evenings. And uh -huh. so we spend a we, we eat out a lot, unfortunately. I mean, that's great too, because I told my wife the other day, I said, you know what, babe, I love eating out. She's like, we need to cook at home more often. So I guess it's like a, you know, however you feel type of thing. But I'm gonna tell you what, the first thing that captures my eye are those cabinets, are those custom made like that? Or, yeah. I mean, those are beautiful. Yes, and we were originally going, We the mirrored cabinets kind of came in later. They were originally going to be clear glass. And then I decided that, you know, I didn't want 
you to be able to see in the cabinets. I wanted them mirrored. So we ended up putting mirrors back there. And uh, anyway, they, they, and we put gold, kind of the gold. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're, they're super huge too. Yeah. They're super huge too. And then the white. So we sent, we have similar style, you know, the white against the gold and the, uh, the, uh, see-through cabinets, you know, you know, we have similar yeah. style. So, um, I mean, there's so much to, to look at when we talk about your home. Um, of course, we're not going to give them the full, full tour. You got to check into the exclusive, uh, episode of this show, but we want to get down to the nitty gritty because, you know, anytime we have a few minutes, uh, uh, moments to spend with someone like yourself, who, again, you know, you've been able to go out and have tremendous success in this industry. We want to try to pull some value from this and, uh, kind of, you know, see if we can learn a few things. So the topic and you know, that we're here to talk to you about is prospecting you know one of the things that of course is it's a popular uh you know conversation is how do you find more prospects how do you get more people in front of your business how do you find people to talk to you know i've run out of family i've run out of friends you know how do i find new people and you know we're in a social media era now and like you're one of the best when it comes to you know social media marketing and uh, building relationships online so can we talk to you about you know prospecting on social media Absolutely. Um, I think social media is one of the best ways to prospect. And, um, you know, I, I did, I sponsored 150 people my first eight weeks, but now wow. it's been two and a half years. We've sponsored close to 300. I actually just had wow. my rep for my company pull my numbers. And I think it was 284, 284 customers and business builders. And most of that has been through social media. And, you know, when I, when I think about social media, so many people are out there spamming people or sending them sending messages and they don't even know someone and and that is one of the things i am so big on creating relationships and giving people value um also creating curiosity you'll never see my the name of my company on my newsfeed mm. i create curiosity i give value i create relationships with people build relationships with people through messenger out you know outside of social media um, and then when you have that relationship, if they know, like, and trust you, they will do business with you. Can I ask you about that? Okay. So not broadcasting your company on your timeline. Now we see plenty of that online, right? Uh, you know, we see different examples of people who appear like they're not really getting any results from doing that. And then we see people who appear like they are getting results. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell on social media, but you know, uh, why is that? Why shouldn't you show or broadcast your business you know, online or on Facebook? Yeah. Well, you know, um, the, one of the biggest reasons is if you put your name and your company out there, what are they going to do? They're going to go Google it. And then they're mm. going to think they know what it is. And they're going to maybe go research it. You want them coming to you and saying, Hey, Whitney, or Hey, uh, you know, what, tell me a little bit more about this detox. Tell right. me a little bit more about your products. And you want to start that conversation. And when I start a conversation with someone, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find their needs. Mm. Um, it's not about me. It's not about me selling my product. It's what are your needs and how can I help you? Mm. And like I said, if they know I can trust you and you build that relationship and you show them that you're all about them and all about their needs, that's when they will purchase from you. Mm. Family, I hope you're getting your pens. I'm trying to give you time to put your pen and pad out because you're going to get some tremendous value here. So, uh, you know, to, oh, we got the kids coming home. <laughs> yeah, Kennedy just came home. Kennedy, shout out to Kennedy. At, at school, put get putting in Maybe the work. Come say hi. Come <laughs> say hi. Come say hi. Yeah, she's a so Kennedy is a of a freshman and a fifth grader. This oh is my man, grader. how's it going? <laughs> man if I, could just, if I could just go back to those days but um so definitely you know uh not broadcasting your actual company online and kind of you know uh creating some uh mystery around what you're doing um here's the question here's specifically what we want to know uh you know when it comes to finding new people right or you know discovering new people uh attracting new people uh to share your business with are there some um, key things to do, like on a daily basis, where you can yes. attract new people, start building, you know, some relationships with people? How does it, how does this work online? How are you? How did you go out there and just attract 150 people into your business with with Facebook? So it's a daily method of operation, um, and then what I say is, peak five people's interest a day, friends five new people a day. I mean, up with, if with Facebook, you can have five up to five thousand friends. Um, so if you have 5,000 friends, you should never run out of people to talk to. So peak interest every day, 
uh, friend five people every day. Um, show at least three of those five a, a video or a little bit more information about your business. You want to be showing, you know, your, your plan or showing a, your video about your products or the opportunity, you know, to someone every single day. It's okay if they say no. And that's really mindset comes in right there because you're going to have notes, but you can't let those notes get you down. You can't let those notes keep you from continuing to move forward. Um, also, my, I work on mindset 20 minutes a day. Um, I read some kind of network marketing book every single day, and then I help a downline every single day. So those are my five things that I do. My daily method of operation is doing those five things every single day. But you've got to be making new friends on Facebook. You've got to be connecting with new people in order to um, in order to to never run out of people to talk to, basically. Mm, mm. And what advice do you have for people um, that have a Facebook, they have an Instagram, they have a Twitter, they have a LinkedIn, and other uh social media sites um and they feel like wow well, i feel like i'm spreading myself thin i don't have time to keep up with social media like you have people who literally don't make social media a part of or an essential part of their business what do you say to people who don't feel like well social media is social media but i don't have time for social media you don't have to have social media to build a business and i always tell people social media is an option it's a tool to build your business you don't have to use social media um but if i were you i would not spread myself too thin by doing twitter instagram TikTok, facebook i would choose one platform one platform to really build strong and then once you have that built out maybe you can go to the next you know maybe you can go to instagram but i wouldn't try to do five different social media sites at one time. I would really focus on one and focus on creating value for that one. You have something, every single person has something that they're good at. They have a gift, they have a talent that they were given and find out what that gift is. What is that What is that talent? And create your, create your Facebook page or your Instagram feed around that, um, around that talent and around your niche and become known for that. And when people, like I said, when people know, I can trust you, when you create, when you add value to their lives, you're not just spamming them with your product post or your business post, they're gonna, they're gonna reach out to you and ask you. Mm, that's good stuff. It. Advice for someone who says, okay, I'm familiar with Facebook, so I'm going to rock with Facebook. Okay. I'm on Facebook, but see, I'm not recruiting 150 people like Whitney Keiko Johns. I'm not getting those type of results. How long is this going to take? Is it worth my time? I hear what the gurus are saying, right? The quote unquote gurus. But what what is it going to really take? Because this is taking too long. How long is it supposed to take? Yeah, it does. It is going to take some time. What I will tell you is first start with your profile picture. Make sure it's a profile picture of you. Make sure it's a really good picture. Make sure when someone looks at it, they're going, you know what? I want to be friends with them your cover photo it should represent you and your family so just start there start with those two things and then your about section make sure it doesn't say anything about your company make sure you tell you know as much about yourself as you can but just start there and then just start thinking with each post you make is this adding value is this creating curiosity is this representing me and then another thing i would encourage you to do is not to be negative you if you want to use social media to build a business like i said you don't have to it's not a must um in this day and age i think it's a great way to build your business. It's not a mess. It's not something you have to do. And just keep so your social media feed a place where people come to, you know, learn and grow and, and they feel positive when they take a look at your newsfeed. I mean, you know what, Whitney, I totally would agree 1000%. You're absolutely right. Um, I want to make sure that because this is just million dollar information you're giving us right now, but I want to make sure also that like we're very, uh, 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 you know, uh, precise because people are going to have questions. So when it comes to someone who, um, you know, they're on social media and um, how do I want to say they're on social media they're, or like they're on Facebook, for example, and their problem is, you know, they feel like they're not getting enough engagement on Facebook. Well, people aren't paying attention. So if I don't talk about my business, right, if I don't literally tell people, hey, I'm in this weight loss company. Hey, I'm, I, you know, I do credit repair. Hey, I, you know, I do this. I do that. Right. How are they going to find out about my business? People are barely liking my post. If I don't, you know, if I'm not, you know, verbal about it, how are people going to learn about my business? 
You know, Facebook algorithm has definitely changed. And I'm just going to talk about Facebook here because that's the biggest social media platform right now. But it has changed. And you you have to be interacting with other people. Um, you have to be commenting on their, their posts. If you want people to comment on your posts, you need to be doing the same. Mm. Um, you need to be commenting on their posts, liking their posts, interacting with them. So maybe the people aren't interacting with your posts, but go interact with them. Take those take what you know is being posted on your news feed take it to messenger and get to know them you know further through messenger um and so you know i always recommend do what you would want people to do to you which is you know know which is comment like um you know get to know them and people like it when other people comment on their posts and that's the way you start i mean i've started multiple relationships with people that i didn't know before social media but now we're, we're friends and mm. you know and maybe even became friends in real life um and so, you know, it doesn't always have to be about your business. It can be about your family. It can be about your, you know, if you love to work out, your workouts. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I would say you do need to post about your business on social media. Just keep it curiosity-based. But I would say every one out of five or 20%, one out of four or 20% of your post should be about your business or product. So mostly it should be about you, you know, the value you add, the, your family, you know, whatever you want your, your feed to be about. And then every you know, fourth or fifth post is about your business or product. But just keep it, keep it curious, keep the curiosity up where they are having to reach out to you and saying, tell me more about this. Mm. You know, I, I, again, I agree because, you know, when it comes to people that I'm friends with on Facebook, you know, uh, and I see them post about their business. Well, the people who are, you know, doing what you said, 80%, you know, 20%, 80% is their life, who they are, and then 20% is their business. Uh, I don't mind when it's that way, right? Because if it's 80%, you know, about you, I'm getting the opportunity as a Facebook friend to find out who you are. I'm building rapport. I'm learning about you. And if I'm learning about you and you stay my Facebook friend, it's probably because I like you, right? <laughs> and I want to stay connected with you. Yeah. So I'm already, you know, I'm becoming curious about, okay, well, what does this person do, right? So, you know, it comes off like, hey, they're informing me opposed to selling me because, I, you know, they don't do this all the time. Oh, that's what he does. Okay. I knew he was sharp. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't have known he was sharp, right? If it wasn't for him, you know, you know, all, like you, doing what you said, you know, sharing lifestyle, family. What do you do? I travel. I like to eat. I'm, I'm sharing with you my last meal. So I definitely agree with you. Uh, it's like when I look at your social media. You know, I feel like I know your family. You know, because you're always posting things about you know just life, right? So I totally agree. You know, we we have to thank you for coming on and sharing this information with us. I know there's so much that you can dig into when it comes to uh, social media and finding prospects. But is there anything else that you want to include in this conversation when we're talking about finding one more prospects? Thing is, is, yeah, one more thing is to go live. Go live and provide value. Not going live about your products, but people are so scared to do it. But it's something, you know, we've been working with a business coach and that's something he's recommended is to go live every single day. Mm. And he said people will watch and watch and watch. And it may be a year from now, but they will ask you eventually. And so go live and create value for people. What What is your, you know, what are you good at? What are, what are you a, an expert in? You're an expert at something. Um, it may be gardening. It may be sports. It may be um mindset i mean but just everybody has that gift and find your gift use that to create value for people and and go live and and get out of that fear-based mindset of oh my gosh i don't what are people going to think um so i just want to encourage you to go live more and create value amazing amazing again we appreciate the conversation of course there's so much more we can learn from you and uh we definitely got to have you back we consider you family here at the builders club tv so uh speaking of family family make sure you like this video uh so we spread the word and uh this valuable content make sure you share this with people that you're looking to inspire and that want to help learn more about you know finding prospects but we're gonna have whitney kegel johns back on the show but thanks again for coming on whitney thank you so much i appreciate you having me Absolutely. There you go, family. Whitney Kegel Johns. Peace. We'll see you next time.